Secretary, please call the roll. Mrs. Becker? Here. Mr. Carangelo? Here. Mrs. Chu? Here. Mr. Sismar? Here. Mrs. Gloss? Here. Mr. Hong? Here. Mrs. Reese? Here. Mr. Winston? Here. And President Lax? Here. We have a quorum. Please rise to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law <clears throat> was enacted to ensure the rights of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interest is discussed and acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the East Brunswick Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be published by having the date, time, and place thereof posted at the Board of Education offices. Written notice was also provided to the Sentinel, the Newark Star-Ledger, the Home News and Tribune, and the Municipal Clerk of East Brunswick. All Board of Education meetings, with the exception of executive session discussions, are videotaped for later broadcast. It is the policy of the Board of Education that videotaped meetings are not edited for any purpose. Individuals who speak at the Board's public meeting should be aware of these videotaping rules. Um, and I'm going to welcome you and then apologize that I'm going to actually ask um, for a closed session um, motion. The Board just has to go into closed session for a quick moment. Second. Moved by Mr. Winston, second, second. by Mrs. Becker, I believe. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Um, we'll be right back. I promise you that wasn't so bad. We are going to resume the business of the meeting and start with the superintendent's report. Thank you, President Lax. And we are going to, this is not for effect only, so you can actually see the screen. There we go. Thank you. It's good to see everyone, especially tonight. This really starts the culmination of a school year, and seeing families come out to uh, celebrate the success of your children is just, it's heartwarming. Tonight, the artwork that is displayed not here, but back at the boardroom at the administration building, as well as a few pieces in the media center here, reflects the efforts of talented students at East Brunswick High School. And their teachers are Megan Buckley, Matthew McCarthy, Antonio Dramatis, and Rachel Roman. And of course, Dr. Michael Vanella is the principal. The high school artwork will be on display at the administration building until Friday, June 17th. Uh, boys tennis won the Central Jersey sectional state championship on Tuesday. And tomorrow, they will compete for the overall group four state championship at Mercer County Park Tennis Center. So congratulations to them and good luck to them. Congratulations to our May high school athletes of the month. Students, as always, were selected for this honor by the coaching staff based on performance demonstration of leadership, effort in practice, and for modeling exceptional character. I'll leave that up there for a second. And finally, just a few reminders. Tomorrow, Friday, June 3rd, is a single session day for all students and all staff with lunch served in grades K through 7. And on Tuesday, June 7th, it is also a single session day for students with no lunch served. Thank you. Short and sweet. Short and sweet because there are a lot of important Gets stuff to do. Gets us to the excitement. With, so this is worth the wait, not just a few minutes. That I apologize that we made you wait, but the couple of years of COVID cost us being back in this room. So it is very exciting to see the proud beaming parents. And I love the fact that we have the windows into your students um, as they get ready to enter and receive these accolades. So I will not wait, make you uh, wait any longer. We are going to um, actually combine the resolutions this evening so that we can um, do them without interruption. So may I please have a motion to combine the items under resolutions one through nine. So moved. Second. Uh, Mrs. Becker and Mr. Hong, any discussion? All in favor? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And so now we will get to present to you. So if Heather would like to um, start with the first one. Going out front? Yes. Yes. Take Nora with you. Come on, Nora. <laughs> uh, this is a resolution of appreciation, our 2021 
2021 2022 Board of Education Student Representative. Move that the Board of Education approve the following resolution. Whereas Nora Hennessy has served as the student representative on the Board of Education for the 2021 2022 school year and Whereas Nora has faithfully attended meetings, offered insight as a student of East Brunswick, and effectively communicated the Board of Education's actions to her, to her fellow students, now therefore be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognizes and commends Nora Hennessy for her time and service to the East Brunswick Board of Education. selected to participate in the 2022 New Jersey Music Educators Association All-State Intermediate Orchestra, and whereas this selection requires a commitment on behalf of the students that results in many hours of intensive practice with students from all over New Jersey, and the concert took place in May 2022. And whereas one Churchill Junior High School student, Jessica Hung, placed the highest in the state for her audition in cello, and whereas this honor, a tribute to the student's talent, hard work, and dedication, has brought local and state, re um, state recognition to our schools, the district, and the community. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the East Front Report of Education recognizes and commends the students and their teachers, Sarah Franchino, Susan Muse, and Mary O'Mara. Okay, and Susan. Susanna. Good evening. Resolution, uh, Resolution of Commendation 2022 New Jersey Music Educators Association All State Orchestra. Love this category. 
Now I move that the Board of Education approve the following resolution. Whereas following a rigorous audition process, eight East Brunswick High School students and two Churchill Junior High School students were among the top student musicians from throughout New Jersey selected to participate in the 2022 New Jersey Music Educators Association All State Orchestra. And whereas this selection requires a commitment on behalf of the students that results in many hours of intensive practice with students from all over New Jersey and culminates in the students' performance as an ensemble in November of 2022. And whereas this honor, a tribute to the students' talent, hard work, and dedication has brought local and state recognition to our schools, the district, and to the community. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognizes and commends the students and their teachers, Dr. Arvind Gopal, Sarah Francino, and Mary O'Mara. And I invite Susan Muse to come back up and do the names because I wouldn't even try it. So, yeah. You have that? You really? Okay. Uh, yeah, one second. Evelyn Chow. <laughs> Isabella Francisco. <laughs> Vishva Gajaraj. <laughs> Allison Lee. <laughs> Emma Lynn. Anna Lynn. <laughs> Kevin May. <laughs> Keshav Ramesh. <laughs> Jaya Shin. <laughs> and Amanda Sun. This is a resolution of commendation, I'm a little short, to the 2022 NENJ SIAA state champion. We move that the Board of Education approve the following resolution, whereas with motivation, determination, and exemplary sportsmanship led one East Brunswick High School senior, Christopher Sorello, to NJ SIAA state champion in the 55 meter hurdles. And whereas Christopher is the number one hurdler in New Jersey, and holds a school and Middlesex County record running of 7.29 in the 55 meter hurdles. And whereas this accomplishment a tribute to the dedication and commitment has brought local and state recognition to a school, the district and the community. And now therefore be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognizes and commends East Brunswick High School senior Christopher Sorello and his coaches Pat D. Giacomo, I hope I said it right, and Laura Calderon for this outstanding achievement. Congratulations.
So this is very special resolution, resolution of recommendation, 2022 U.S. Presidential Scholar. Recommendation, whereas the U.S. Secretary of Education, Miguel uh, Cardinal, announced the 58th class of U.S. Presidential Scholars, recognizing 161 high school seniors for their accomplishment in academics, the arts, career, techni technical education field, and whereas the White House com Commission on Presidential Scholars select scholars annually based on their academic success and technical excellence access, school evaluations and transcripts, as well as the demonstration commitment to the community service and the leadership, whereas East Brunswick High School senior Carson Ho was one of the three students selected in New Jersey and one of the 161 students in this entire country who received this prestigious award and well as this, uh, this is a, tr a tribute to the dedication and commitment of Carson has brought local and state recognition to his school, the, sc the district and to the community. Now therefore to be resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognize and commends East Brunswick High School senior Carson Hall on this outstanding achievement what a really outstanding achievement. One of the three in this state, one of the 161 in this entire country. Congratulations. Hello. This is a resolution of commendation for Award for Aspirations in Computing, 2022 National Certificate of Distinction. Whereas three East Brunswick High School students received the 2022 National Certificate of Distinction, one teacher received the New Jersey Affiliate Award, one East Brunswick High School student, and one teacher received an honorable mention and one East Brunswick High School student received the New Jersey Affiliate Rising Star from the NCWIT Award for Aspiration in Computing. And whereas the NCWIT Award for Aspiration in Computing honors 9th through 12th grade women, genderqueer, or non-binary students for their computing-related accomplishments and interests and encourages them to pursue their passions. And whereas award recipients are selected based on their aptitude and aspirations in technology and computing as demonstrated by their computing experience, computing related activities, leadership experience, tenacity in the face of barriers to access, and plans for post-secondary education. And whereas this honor, a tribute to the students and teachers' hard work and dedication has brought state and national recognition to our schools, the district, and the community. Therefore, be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognizes and commends these students and their teachers, Haim Cohen and Daniel Neshi. Congratulations. I, I, just, I just want to say that um, the key words there were um, passion and tenacity. And I, I wish all of you to continue with your passion and tenacity. It's wonderful, just wonderful. Kira Kornienko, Samyukta Minupala, Charitha Nana Paneni, Leila Sheikh, and Makadi Yaramili.
Okay, resolution of commendation. Move that the Board of Education approve the following resolution. Whereas with motivation and determination led one East Brunswick High School senior, N.C. Yang, to place first in the national stock market game, and whereas the Securities Industry and Financial Markets Association organizes the annual national stock market game where East Brunswick High School students compete with students from over 1,000 other schools, applying their knowledge from class to the stock market game in real time, and whereas East Brunswick students taking economics elective and social studies are able to connect lessons from class to the global economy with virtual investing and real world learning. And senior NC Yang finished first place nationally in this year's competition. And where is this accomplishment a tribute to the dedication and commitment of NC has brought local and state recognition to his high school, the district, and the community? And now, th therefore, be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognizes and commends East Brunswick High School senior NC Yang, his teacher Kimberly Giambrone, for this outstanding achievement. Resolution of commendation. <laughs> so excited. Um, can you tell I'm a little biased? Sorry about that. Since, you know, I was one of the early classes and maybe the earliest, but we won't say that because it makes me old. Um, where's the Whereas at the New Jersey We the People 2022, the Citizen and the Constitution competition, students testified on constitutional issues in simulated congressional hearings, demonstrating impressive knowledge of the Constitution, exhibiting the ability to think critically and express their ideas clearly and articulately. And whereas following rigorous preparation, 27 East Brunswick High School students in the Advanced Placement Institute for Political and Legal Education, AP IPL, Class placed first in the New Jersey We the People 2022, the Citizen and the Constitution competition for the 30th time out of a possible 33 years and earned the class the opportunity to represent the state, the national finals, and whereas the accomplishment, this accomplishment, a tribute to the students' hard work, dedication, and commitment has brought local, state, and national recognition to their school, the district, and the community. There, now, therefore, be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognizes these students and their teachers and advisors, Alan Broadman, Mark Mondry, Herbert Paluzzo, and Ellen Spivy, and I'm going to have them come up and help me hand these out to these well-deserving students. 33 years ago, it tells you when I did it. I'm going to do that one at the end. Yep. Lara Adams. Roshnida Ahad, Heba Amer, Ananya Chandrasekhar, Stephen Chase. Anuj Chauhan, Mary Algayar, Emma Goodman, Rahul Gopu, Kelly Grove, Rachel Gurevich. <laughs> Devin Hecht, Sarthak Jain, Ali Johnson, Kamala Karupia. <laughs> Adiva Khan, Tom V. Malgaretti, Maya Maltese. Sadvika Mandala. Saketh Mandayam. Dennis Parfilko. Ram Padu. Victor Rabinovich. <laughs> Donvi Shah. Christina Steiner. Matthew Tell. And Leon Wang.
Thank you. Yes. Uh, the department chairperson for history, Herb Beluso. Uh, my colleague, Ellen Spivey. And a familiar name around these parts, and retired teacher, Alan Brodman. Thank you very much. Good evening. I have a resolution of commendation for NJCCIC CyberStart. Whereas New Jersey annually participates in CyberStart America, an innovative and free online cybersecurity competition that is the number one resource to inspire, educate, and encourage students to become future cybersecurity professionals. And whereas the NJCCIC is a component organization within the New Jersey Office of Homeland Security and Preparedness. The NJCCIC works to make New Jersey more resilient to cyber attacks by promoting statewide awareness of cyber threats and widespread adoption of best practices. And whereas East Brunswick High School plays first in registrants, first for qualifiers for New Jersey, and teachers Haim Cohen and Dan Danielle Neshi were awarded as top recruiters. And whereas this honor a tribute to the students and teachers' hard work and dedication has brought state and national recognition to our schools, the district, and to the community. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognizes and commends East Brunswick High School and teachers Haim Cohen and Danielle Neshi. Congratulations. Um, I know most of our students are milling about, and um, I just wanted to congratulate all the parents on the hard work that your students have done and how supportive you were. Um, every year it never amazes me how many students we give these awards to, um, and the list keeps growing. So I'm going to call a quick recess so that you can go and maybe take a few pictures, uh, and uh, we'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay, so Miss Nora, bittersweet as this is, I'm going to ask you to give your last student report for us, please. All right, I've got a little bit of a shorter one on the information, just like Dr. Valeski. Tomorrow's prom for the senior prom at East Brunswick High School. It's at Pines Manor, I'm very excited to go. <laughs> senior awards are held on Monday, the varsity banquet is on Tuesday. Uh, as the spring sports are wrapping up, we have end of season banquets for lacrosse and the other sports. As Dr. Valeski mentioned, the boys tennis team were the sectionals champions and they're moving on to states tomorrow. And track will be headed to the meet of the champions soon. Senior sunset is held by the PTSA on Thursday. It's a good opportunity for seniors to get together, sign yearbooks and get free ice cream. And I'd like to thank the PTSA for that. Uh, there are just a few days of school left, especially before finals. Senioritis is kicking in a little bit, but there's only a few days left, 20 days until graduation on June 22nd. And that's all I have. But before I introduce my successor, 
uh, I wanted to say a brief thank you to the Board of Education. Um, I've struggled with severe anxiety for as long as I can remember, especially in public speaking situations. Keeping the board up to date with events at the high school was something I looked forward to being able to do, especially with my role in planning a lot of those events with student council. You have all made each time I'm here a pleasant experience for me, and I wanted to thank you for that. I appreciate your welcoming manner and what I've been able to learn about the real world or from this real world experience. Thank you for everything, and without further ado, I'd like to formally introduce Megan Sang, who will be with you next year instead of me. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Megan Sang. So as you heard, I'm going to be Nora's successor. I've heard many times that it's big shoes to fill, but I'll see what I can do. Um, currently, I'm a junior at EBHS. Just a little bit about me. Um, I'm a varsity swimmer. I love volunteering, and I am part of a bunch of different honor societies and other clubs in my school. So I'm happy to share what kind of diverse events and activities we do. Um, I just wanted to say thank everyone for this opportunity. I've never actually experienced anything like this before. Um, I'm definitely not as experienced in anything student government or student body related as Nora, but I hope that I can grow in that respect this year. So I'm looking forward to working with Dr. Vanella, um, the Board of Ed, and my peers and all of you in the coming year. Thank you. Welcome, Ms. Megan. So, um, Mr. Juliana just reminded me that there's actually one more board meeting before graduation. So maybe the two of you can come back and we can actually get to enjoy Nora one more time. And you have been such a delight, but I think what we'll do is we'll wait till the next meeting. Are you gonna be at our last meeting? Potentially, graduation? but it's uh, no finals day for me, so potentially not. <laughs> We'll see come the day. What, what Nora is trying to tell you is no. no it's it's in not, my calendar. I haven't not decided going, she's yet. She's going to pencil us in, and okay. then we'll see what happens. All right. Well, she's a college girl almost. Yeah. Um, okay. Then, then, then what I would uh, like to do then is to open it up to the board to make some remarks this evening. If you do decide to join us on the 16th, we will say wonderful things about you again um, so that Megan can see what a nice group of people we are to work with. Um, but I, I will start with just saying you have been a delight and the fact that you have any kind of anxiety in terms of speaking, you would never know. And for anyone that has not seen this girl's reports every week, you're a natural. And I am thrilled for you. I'm glad you'll be down the road at Rutgers and I wish you all the best next year. And what I'm gonna do is actually, we're gonna start um, and we'll go right down the line if everyone wants to wish Nora a fond farewell. Yes, Nora, thank you so much. And um, I too have anxiety in public speaking, and that's why I didn't present today. So I give you a lot of credit, uh, even though I lecture every day, all day. But um, thank you for doing a great job. So Noah, a great job have been done for the past year. And you did a great job. You let us know what was happening in high school. You connect us with the high school community. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best for your college, for your career, and for your life. Now I'm going to get the feedback. Nora, again, thank you very much, and, and I'm going to speak to your parents out there for a minute. Um, I mean, you know the wonderful daughter you've raised, and uh, you know it's a proud moment for her to be up here, and she's exceptional in every way. So thank you very much, and I also welcome your successor. So good luck in college and, and beyond. I also was going to congratulate your parents. Um, what a great job you did. What a fantastic young woman she is. You just bring poise and a bright note into every single one of our meetings besides being informative. Thank you and we can't wait to see what lies ahead of you. So please come back and share with us. Everyone always shakes her head yes and says yes. We will come back. We have yet to see it. So break the mold, baby. Nora's going to be I'll, the one. I'll be down the road. I'm sure I can come to the Perfect. Next one. Walk here. Thank you. Best of luck. I have had the pleasure of knowing Nora, I think six years, maybe seven. 
been a very long time, and it is quite the pleasure to watch you grow and mature. I would not have ever guessed about any kind of anxiety speaking, because I've seen your leadership since you were much smaller, much shorter than I am, actually. Um, the other pleasure, though, not just seeing Nora here, is seeing Nora with um, younger students. She is a leader and a guide and welcoming to the freshmen. She is just one of the most inclusive young women I have ever seen. So I do not want to wish you a fond farewell. I will miss you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to wish you good luck. Um, we do hope we'll see you again. And don't hesitate to reach out. I think in LinkedIn or whatever, if you can connect with us, if there's anything you need, we can reach out. Don't, don't hesitate. These are lifelong relationships that you build um, over the years. So thank you for everything you've contributed to um, our board meetings. Thank you. Echoing what people are saying, but you really are the bright light of all these meetings. We're really thankful for you being here. Megan, welcome. And, you know, Nora, we wish you only the best, but we know you're going to do great with whatever you decide to do. Well, I've enjoyed being your dais, buddy. And uh, <laughs> I, I watched you uh, grow throughout this year. And uh, I don't think this will be a surprise to her parents, but sarcasm as a second language is a wonderful thing. Uh, your daughter is fantastic, extremely funny, amazingly bright, and she's been an absolute pleasure to sit next to. So, Thank you. good times, really fun. Thank you. <laughs> Can I say something? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Nora, I'm always impressed when I watch students come in, but this year I've watched you, as, as people have said, you've grown over this last year, and we get to watch you mature as we age one more year. Uh, so when you, get to, when you get to our age, it's aging, you're, you're gaining maturity. Uh, but I think that you have many successes ahead of you and wish you well at Rutgers. Thank you. Yay, Nora. Yay, Nora. You have brought East Brunswick High School alive, especially for the alumni up here that remembered what it was like to roam these halls a long, long time ago. You made us jealous that we're not uh, current students, so thank you. Megan, you're gonna have fun next year. You're gonna have a lot of fun. So um, thank you for allowing us to digress and to honor this lovely young woman that has spent this year with us. Um, we will now move on to the board business. Uh, we're up to the, for the good of the cause for the public. The Board of Education recognizes the value of public comment on educational issues and the importance of allowing members of the public to express themselves on school matters of community interest. To protect the privacy of all students and staff, concerns regarding individual students and staff members should generally be addressed by first meeting with the appropriate administrative staff. Participants will be limited to three minutes duration, kept by the board secretary. Is there anyone this evening wishing to speak to the board? Yes. You could state your name and address for the district. Hi, I'm Cohen, 203 Lawrence Avenue, Highland Park. My name is Haim Cohen. I'm one of the two computer science teachers in the district, with Danielle Neshi being the other. I want to highlight all the accomplishments that were bestowed in our program this year. I know we read the resolutions, but I'm standing uh, here before you tonight to come to come here to bring special emphasis to the board for these individual accomplishments. First are the National Center of Women in Technology Awards, the NC Witt Awards for Aspirations in Computing honor 9th to 12th grade women, gender queer, non-binary students for their computing related achievements and interests and encourage them to pursue their, pa their passions. Over the years, Danielle and I have worked hard to increase the number of women in computer science and we are exceptionally proud to have five of our students recognized by the NC Witt this year. Three students won National Certificate of Distinction, and two students won New Jersey awards. In addition, I am proud to be an honorable mention runner-up to Danielle Neshi, who was named the overall 2022 NC Wit Aspirations in Computers Computing Education Award winner for the state of New Jersey. Three years ago at a T&E meeting, I stood in front of you and told you we need a cybersecurity course introduced into our curriculum. Well, we made it happen. 
I'm sure Andy Scanlon can share with you the exact numbers, but we are proud to be one of the few schools that is already teaching a dedicated and proper cybersecurity course, setting an example for other districts that are only now starting to search for curriculum solutions. Next is CyberStar USA, a, a nationwide cybersecurity competition pushed by NJCCIC, a division of the NJ Office of Homeland Security. Our students won first in registrants and first in qualified status, and we have many students who earn recognition and awards. We had five winners of scholar awards. These individuals were the highest 1,152 students in the nation. I, I want to say their names. Varun Dar, fourth in New Jersey for points. Jeremy Goldberger, 19th in New Jersey for points. David Saperstein, 22nd in New Jersey. Sartak uh, Run, Run, Runta, we don't, he didn't place there, but still. And I have an anonymous because they didn't pre pre uh, present their name. Also, we had the following finalists, or top 23, 2,325 students in the nation. They are Vivek Vadia, Myrna Habishi, anonymous, Leo Babu, Aditya Parmaraju, Risha Shah, Edward Lee, Chinmay Patel, Victor Rabinovich, anonymous, anonymous, and Kevin May. I'm very proud of our students and the course accomplishments overall. We will continue to grow the program and hopefully set the example for other New Jersey school districts in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Alex Spielman, Six Douglas Road. Um, I, uh, first, I wanted to um, wish the best of all endeavors, Nora, with her future at Rutgers and all their things. And I want to uh, welcome Megan to be the, the successor and hope you do well and everything within the next school year. Um, the reason I came up here actually had to do with the a resolution having to do with the renewal of Aramark's contract with, the, with child nutrition. And um, I generally was questioning uh, the contract in that how we moved it from the child, how we originally had our own in-house child nutrition team at one point and outsourced it to a outside contractor. And I was wondering if it was um, overall more of a benefit to it, uh, having it outsourced to an outside private uh, provider than having things in-house where we could do everything and deal with them at that point in time instead of having to worry about having it from a, another vendor. Uh, I'm wondering if it was a financially, uh, it was financially sound or um, as we are currently seeing, uh, in the nature of allergies, such as, you know, different food allergies and stuff like that, if they could be, are they being properly addressed of these things with the vendors? Because, um, as we know, uh, gluten-free, vegan, and other forms of diets have become far more common nowadays. And I'm not sure if our market currently is providing proper nutrition for these students who may be doing such diets. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Um, if you want to give your information to Karen and Janet, Karen and Janet right there. As you know, the public portion is a time where we um, listen to the concerns, but they can take your information and have someone get you some answers okay, to thank your you. questions. You're very welcome. Mr. Giuliani, before you start the clock, one thing. For Chad Sealer, 11 Apache Court in East Brunswick. Uh, I am here against my wife's wishes, so if anybody wants to hang out with me tonight, afterwards, it's welcome. Uh, uh, and also, and Vicky, I'm here because passion and tenacity. That's why I'm here tonight. Uh, just a little history here. I'm here about uh, the 7th and 8th grade football program at Churchill next year and St. Bart's Buffaloes. Just, uh, just so everyone knows, AYF and Pop One are two separate things. St. Bart's member of AYF with 40 franchises that support 14 U teams across the state. Pop Warner is a fledgling program and the surrounding towns that we play on our Churchill team, South Brunswick, North Brunswick, Linden, I think Elizabeth's in there, Union, maybe Biscataway, are all Pop Warner towns where their youth programs are folding. We have a strong youth program in town and just so we know, we have two ex-coaches up here on the dais, two members of the board whose husbands were on the board for St. Bart's an ex-Buffalo cheerleader, 
And also, I think I coached you in soccer <laughs> years ago. Yes. So just so we know about, you know, a few years ago, past President Jim Wendell, Dave Lonsky, the President CAO, and myself met with members of the administration uh, about a working agreement with the Buffaloes and the football program at, Saint at uh, East Brunswick High School. Nothing has ever come from that. That was three or four years ago. Nothing has ever come from that whatsoever, and that leads me to communication. There is zero communication between the high school sports programs and St. Bart's. Uh, in January, I met with President Lax and Superintendent, and Superintendent Valeski about possibly taking the eighth grade program over. Uh, that meeting went nowhere, and there was no mention in that meeting in January of seventh graders joining the eighth grade football team. Again, Churchill parents went to orientation. There was a thing on the board saying that seventh graders and eighth graders were playing football at, at Churchill. I talked to President Lax. She said her, both her and Mr. Valeski were unaware that would be on the screen. It was a fact-finding mission. I again met with Dr. Valeski a few, a few months, about a month ago, and gave him a PowerPoint presentation on why the youth of East Brunswick better served with St. Bart's Buffaloes than an eighth or seventh grade program at Churchill. Uh, decided to go that way. A lot of reasons on that proposal was our equipment, our fields, our coach ratio, and the safety of the program overall. Um, just so we know, this is where my wife is going to kill me on this, one of our, your board members' spouses was the entire push for safety in football. Did not want his child playing a year up with anybody. Pushed to have the Vice's 0-2 helmets, the number one helmet on the market, in there, and have trainers. Really strange now that seventh graders are going to play here at church against teams, kids a year older than them, if they're reclassed, two years older than them, and possibly some kids that could be freshmen or sophomores playing Five against seventh graders. Five seconds. That's it? Wow. That's a shame. That's, that's a real shame because I have some quotes from parents it's here. Three minutes. That's ridiculous. I'll, I'll hand this out to you. As, I'll, I'll send it to you. As, this is three minutes. Is not, it went on for eternity when I was on your side. On this side, it doesn't go on at all. <laughs> Is there anyone else that wishes to speak to the board this evening? Okay. Seeing none, I'm going to close the public portion and resume with our Board of Education items. Um, may I please have a motion for Board of Education item number one? Second. Second. Mrs. Becker, second by Mr. Hong. Is there any discussion? All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? Motion carries. Uh, may I please have a motion for um, item number one on the committee programs? Second. By Mrs. Reese, second by Mrs. Becker. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Um, may I please have a motion for item number one under curriculum and instruction? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Becker? Second. Second by Mr. Hong. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. May I please have a motion uh, for items one through three on our facilities? Agenda? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Becker. Sure. Second by Mr. Carangelo. Is there any discussion? No. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? Aye. Motion carries. May I please have a motion for items number one through seven on our financial services? So agenda. moved. Moved by Mrs. Becker. Second. Second by Mr. Carangelo. Is there any discussion? Yes. Mr. Winston. On item number two, bill pay list. Uh, Pending payments issuance, uh, June 3rd, 22. Draw your attention on that packet to page, initially page uh, 30. In that section, M&M Construction Company spending $164,000. Please provide some information as to what that was for. Just a moment. What was the page again, Chuck? Uh, page 30. Thank you. Item M&M Construction Company, $164,003. M&M Construction Company is the company that was awarded the bid for the uh, window and exterior door replacement projects at um, Chittick. Frost, Warnsdorfer, uh, and uh, the entirety of Churchill Junior High School. So these are progress payments under that contract. Um, and you'll continue to see M&M construction on future bill lists 
for the remainder of the contract. Thank you. I'll make a note of that. Thank you very much, Mr. Julian. Also, now to turn it to page 37, same, same item. Uh, I see billing for uh, $90,577.74 for Parrett Somgen Architects LLC. I've seen this on the bill list before. Um, tell me a little bit about this particular billing. Certainly. So uh, these are uh, progress payments for architectural services for each of the various projects that are either um, in process in terms of being constructed uh, or in the planning process, uh, bid development, uh, specifications development, and so forth. Uh, those projects uh, would range from, for example, the window and door replacement project that I just mentioned a moment ago. Um, we have uh, rooftop unit uh, replacements that are uh, on, on, ongoing at this time. Uh, we have uh, rooftop units uh, that were just bid and we're going to be hopefully awarding a contract at the next board meeting. Um, we've got a host of planning taking place, um, including uh, planning uh, for um, a new high school. Uh, we have um, uh, uh, safety improvements for uh, kiln rooms at, associated with art rooms, and the list just goes on and on. I'm just right off the top of my head naming a number of them. But uh, any of the projects that are uh, in the planning stages or active, there will be associated billings for various aspects of work that goes into those. I appreciate that. I did hear you mention in there uh, in terms of planning for uh, what may in fact be a high school uh, here and our request would fit time for President Lacks that she form an oversight committee uh, regarding the future of this high school being built. Um, I just can't seem to get there. I don't know what the delay is, but right now we're spending taxpayers dollars on an unapproved project uh, and an unreferendum project, yet money keeps going out the door with zero oversight. I think it's irresponsible of this board to continuously write checks for something that is yet to be approved in any way and provide any oversight whatsoever uh, as an obligation of fiduciary responsibility to the public. Thank you. Anything else? Okay, will the secretary please call the roll. Mrs. Becker? Yes. Mr. Carangelo? Yes. Mrs. Chu? Yes. Mr. Sismar? Yes. Mrs. Gloss? Yes. Mr. Hong? Yes. Mrs. Reese? Yes. Mr. Winston? Yes. President Lacks? Yes. Motion carries. Bringing us to uh, the one item under food services, contract renewal. May I please have a motion? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Becker. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Sismar. Is there any discussion? Yes. Mr. Sismar. Uh, with the Aramark lunches, at the beginning of the year or any time before that, does Aramark send out like the different choices that students will have in the school and like a comprehensive list of what students can choose? The menus change throughout the course of the year, so uh, sending out a, a list is not something that would be feasible. I think some of, the, some of the categories, I guess, that were brought up in the, in the public portion, like different choices for meals and stuff and dietary things. Um, any, you know, is that something that our market send out and say we have vegan, we have uh, different type of choices? We'll check. We'll check on that. But I, you know, in yeah, terms of special dietary needs for students that are um, medically dietary, um, those are accommodated. Uh, that information is uh, reported through the school nurse, and then that information is shared with our child nutrition program so that students have appropriate dietary needs addressed. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sismar, just uh, another comment because this applies to so many things we're dealing with in our own lives. Uh, supply chain issues have affected menus uh, this year, uh, so, but we will look into the concerns that you expressed. Thank you. Um, this is not a call vote, nope. so all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. May I please have a motion for items one and two on our human resources? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Becker, second, second by Mr. Carando. Is there any discussion? I have one note for the board uh, just on the uh, item one. I wanted to note a uh, typo on page two, uh, employee number 26105. 
Uh, the effective date is September 1, 2022. Uh, it had been listed as uh, the year 2021. That's the only note. Thank you. Um, this is a roll call vote. Uh, discussion. Oh, I'm sorry. My That's apologies. okay. Sorry. Mark, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, no worries. Could you start out the discussion, then, please? Um, she may be mad at me, but I've known her a long time. Mr. Girio sitting in the back. Um, this is a good time. I know the end of the year and preparing for next year is insanity when it comes to personnel and changes and interviewing people. And, you know, we've said it before about Mr. Giro. She knows everybody's name. She knows everybody's story. So I see you hiding back there. And I'm not going to say how long I've known you, but um, thank you. You know, from the day it's, uh, it's a district this size, it's, it's insane. And you and all the people in your office, I want to say thank you. Okay, will the secretary please call the roll? Mrs. Becker? Yes. Mr. Carangelo? Yes. Mrs. Chu? Yes. Mr. Sismar? Yes. Mrs. Guas? Yes. Mr. Hong? Yes. Mrs. Reese? Yes. Mr. Winston? Yes. President Lax? Yes, motion carries. May I please have a motion for items one and two under staff development? It's removed. Moved Second. by Mrs. Becker, and God bless you, I think. Second. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that was. Oh. <laughs> Second by Mr. Sismar. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Uh, may I please have an, a motion for items one through five on tonight's student services agenda? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Becker. Second. Second by Mr. Hong. Um, and I actually have a question um, for Dr. Figaro. Oh, you're, you're, not, you're in the cheap seats tonight. Sorry. Yeah, um, <laughs> you had to step out. You had to step out. Thank you for that. Um, for the receipt, the HIV self-assessment, um, we got our 78 out of 78, um, yes. which is wonderful because even though I first saw 78 and said, what, we got a C? Um, it's 100%. But I was just curious, um, who grades? Is it, is it multiple people and is it people outside each building that are looking in or is it people that are self? I know it's, it's self to some extent, but I was just curious about the process. The way I'm the process is designed, this is coming from the state, that each school does a self-assessment mm -hmm. checklist. The uh, safety and security, it's not security, safety climate team does the workup on all of the HIVs. It includes a parent, um, it includes uh, the principal, student assistance specialist. Uh, they go through each one of these elements. Then after they give, assess what their grade is, and that the, the top grade you can get is a 78. Mm -hmm. Then that comes to Danielle Blaylock for her review. It also goes to me for my review before I present it to the board, or actually before we send it to the state. And then the state is now, that what you're seeing there is the state saying they've looked at our assessment, they agree with our 2021 calculations, um, and our assessment, and they're in receipt of it. So now, in the fall, I will give you a full board presentation of okay. the 2021 season. Great. Okay. Thank you. Right, you're welcome. Any other discussion? Uh -uh. Mrs. Reese, is your hand up? Yes, yes. it is. Thank you so much. Uh, just a quick uh, thank you and, and a note to the parents to note that the uh, 2022 to 2023 clubs and activities, we have so many activities at the high school, at the elementary, at the Hammershaw, at Churchill. Um, when the kid comes home and says there's nothing to do, nothing wrong, <laughs> so my kid sometimes tells me, oh, I'm not sure what, what to do. There's lots to do. And they range from art to coding to gardening to um, religious and ethnic groups. So thank you to our uh, district for providing this and our teachers and staff. And also uh, just on the previous one about um, uh, community programs, for those parents that are looking for things for their kids to do over the summer or after school, there are so many well-priced well after-school activities, uh, coding robots, uh, journalism, kids' art, nutrition, pottery, painting, robotics, drawing, esports. I mean, there's something for everybody, so thank you. And uh, I just wanted to note that so folks in, in, know that there's an affordable way to have some fun activities for their kids. Thank you. Okay, will the secretary please call the roll? Mrs. Becker? Yes. Mr. Carangelo? Yes. Mrs. Chu? Yes. Mr. Sismar? Yes. Mrs. Guas? Yes. Mr. Hong? Yes. Mrs. Reese? Yes. Mr. Winston? Yes. President Lax? Yes, motion carries, bringing us to our committee reports on new and or, and or old business, um, information items, and for the good of the cause for the board. 
Um, and I just wanted to, I know we've said it a thousand times, what an exciting evening this is. Um, but I did want to note, after hearing how passionately um, Mr. Cohen spoke about the programs and the students, you know, we, we, we congratulate the students every time, which we should. We congratulate the parents because, let's face it, they've raised these incredible students. But I just think it also has to be said again, the look of pride on the staff faces as they are handing these to their students. Um, kudos to the staff because they're um, they're helping us to raise these wonderful students and um, it was a joy also having Mr. Rodman back um, as someone and I read the IPO resolution tonight because 30 years ago I was in that class and Mr. Calamano I thought was the greatest thing ever happened to the program um, and then came Alan Rodman and Mark Mondry. Uh, Mr. Cluzzi you have such a great staff there so um, it's so nice for me to see over the years how um, the big shoes, and, and, and I apologize to Nora for the big shoes. Having a tall daughter myself, she does have average size shoes as well. Your large shoes were larger than life in terms of your um, effect on us. But um, every time I think that there's big shoes to fill, we fill them and they get bigger. So um, congratulations to the staff as well on all those. And I will. Yes. I will also actually, before I. Um, as for any other discussion, just take a moment, um, Mr. Winston. Uh, I realize your frustration with that uh, council or the UVA committee, excuse me. Um, I will assure you that the committee has been in the works. You just unfortunately aren't aware of it. Um, but Dr. Valeski and I have worked on the um, logistics of it, and the intent was to roll it out this summer. So if you had asked, um, you would have been given the information. But um, I've asked six I times. <laughs> Well, you, 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 I've asked I, you like to ask publicly. I'm saying if you had actually asked the question. Of course you do. Yeah, but no, we're here, we're here to serve the public. Absolutely, and you're entitled like to, but my point is had you asked the question Secret in between how and then it would Secretly. have been answered for you. Okay, next time I'll ask secretly. You're right. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable, I'm just saying to you that it has been um, something that's been done. I, I will tell you that since you chose not to be on the committee that does um, – oversee the rebuild, it, it was not something that I thought was on your radar. So I apologize since you took yourself off the facilities committee. But I'm not familiar with what you're talking about. Please explain. I'm not, I'm not familiar with being not On the being facilities part committee in the beginning of the year when you were appointed <clears throat> to the facilities committee and asked to be removed from it. So I just was, I, I apologize. Have, I have no I, knowledge of that whatsoever. I, I, that, that's foreign to me. That's fine. I, will sh I have the emails. I promise you I can show you the emails later Please. if you like. Mr. Sismar. Hi. Uh, I'm going to give a report on the Security Committee. Thank but you. Don't be nervous. I choose my words carefully with this. People that know me know how I speak about the Security Committee. First of all, God bless everyone affected by the tragedy down in Texas. And I know it's on everyone's mind. So I felt compelled to say a few words tonight about our district. Security in a school setting is a balance between freedom of movement and protection. The learning must go on but there are risks involved in school and in all aspects of life. Risks must be identified and cannot remain unmitigated. People cannot become complacent. Protocols must be followed every time. The security in our district has many layers, most of which we do not talk about in public. This is to protect our students, staff, and visitors. Our security team is comprised of all former law enforcement officers. Our security team is led by a man in the back, Mr. Paul Nataliccio, uh, my best friend, and he'll probably be mad at me for saying this, but, um, and I don't want to speak for the other members here, but uh, he gets the full support of Dr. Valeski and the board uh, in this very important matter. Mr. Nataliccio, I know him very well. He's a leader. He will not become complacent. He continues to research and implement best practices, and he keeps our district very safe by not tolerating others becoming complacent. Having the proper protocols in place is never enough. We still must hold everyone accountable to follow these protocols, with no exception. The lives of everyone in our district is far too important. And if students, staff, parents, or visitors are unsure of what they should be doing or not doing, please speak to your building principals, reach out to Dr. Valeski on appropriate channels, and ask for help. Uh, we are here for everyone involved. Like I said, students, staff, parents, and visitors. So thank you very much. 
Thank you. Just as recent as this I just had an update on the facilities and transportation committee. Uh, so just to, for those that are not familiar with our committee, it's a combination of facilities and transportation. And when we meet, um, we get updates on different projects that the uh, district is involved in. And for, it's, uh, for those that have not been on the committee, and I, for myself being on the committee for a, a while, it still impresses me all the things that the district is engaged in to improvement of the facilities and maintaining the facilities. Um, like uh, Mr. Figueroa, uh, Mr. Giuliani said, um, the uh, updates on all the windows for the different schools, HVAC upgrades, RT replacements at Hammershold, HVAC updates at Churchill. Uh, there's many, many things going on. And, and pre oh, RT units, uh, that's a good one, right? The RTU units at the high school for air conditioning, right? That's a, that's a lovely thing. So maybe, maybe you could tell us a little bit about that, and we had talked maybe a little bit about the track uh, updates. Is that? Uh, yes, for the stadium uh, yeah. track and and uh, and turf replacement. So um, uh, about a month ago, uh, maybe a little more than a month ago, the old turf was removed. Uh, the um, there are some repairs uh, that need to be uh, made to the drainage under. Uh, the field area that will uh, be done once uh, school is let out. Uh, the track uh, will uh, be demolished. Uh, I believe it's after June 18th, which is the last event that we have uh, on that track. So the demolition will begin, I believe it's the week after. Uh, and so far we are on target. We have project meetings every two weeks and uh, we are uh, remain on target for um, the new track and field uh, to be uh, available for use in September. That's wonderful news, thank you. So just even one project like that takes so much time. There's so many that the administration does. So thank you to you and Dr. Valeski and the entire team for everything you do. Thank you, Mrs. Reese, Mrs. Glass. Okay. I was just gonna mention that if the track and the field are not ready for September, I know this community will probably be looking for a new superintendent <laughs> because you're going to run me out of town. So that's we're trying very hard to meet that deadline. Thank you. Good try, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to report the Student Services Committee met at the very end of April, um, and I didn't bring it up at the last two meetings because it was teacher recognition, and that was a very, very worthwhile focus, and those were some pretty long nights. Um, but I did want to say the meeting was extremely informative and the amount of services, well, the amount of time that's been put into needs assessment for what our students need on the elementary and at the upper levels has just been phenomenal. The, st the services that are being provided, there were presentations from guidance and special education and uh, PE health. There's just an abundance of services out there to deal with general issues that students have and also the things that were relating to anxiety and depression, social isolation having to do with COVID. And it was just phenomenal what was presented there and what we offered to the students. So if anyone has any questions about services that are out there, please contact the school's guidance departments. There's an abundance for the children. Thank you. Mr. Hong. So uh, I had the privilege to attend uh, EBEF's uh, monthly meeting. Uh, I, should, I want to thank Jack and his team for their job, try to help our uh, students and our teachers. They funded numerous uh, projects to our teachers which uh, our school, uh, our board couldn't handle. So they try very hard to raise any penny to help our students. At the same, so they are planning a casino night. So if you got the chance, please go play and help Jack and his team. Eventually, the money will go to our school district that may find a few more uh, projects uh, to our teachers. So uh, whenever you have a relationship to the community business owner, please reach out. Get some money for Jack and EBEF. It's not for Jack, it's for <laughs> us, for our community. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lee, well, can you tell us again the date of the Kissing Your Night? Uh, then 
it, it's it's very big project because they need to find the uh, all several locations. They need to find maybe fifteen tables. Oh, they got the dealers. This they have been working, calling around, try to find whoever is willing to provide the police and share good profit with the EBEF. So they, they will make an announcement because they are trying very hard. So we, ha we talked a lot so for hours. So I'll be there. Yeah? I Thank could even be a dealer if you need me to. <laughs> so, so I will let Jack know you will be a dealer. Yes. <laughs> they will save my money that way. <laughs> Turn over to card sharp you are. Yeah, I do love my Atlantic. I have I miss gambling. Anyone uh I have to have one vice, come on. <laughs> Quiet board. Okay. Well, we do have a need to go back into closed session. So whereas the Board of Education must discuss matters which are not appropriate for discussion in a public meeting, and whereas these subjects are within the exceptions to the Open Public Meetings Act and are permitted to be discussed in closed session. Whereas the Board of Education intends to discuss matters as follows, those items listed on tonight's agenda. The length of closed session is estimated to be one hour, after which the public meeting of the Board shall reconvene and action may be taken. Can I please have a motion to go back into... So moved moved by Mrs. Becker, second by Mr. Hong. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you everyone for coming out tonight and congratulations to all the worthy recipients.